If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Bobby. Guys, today's a slightly different video. Excuse the mess in the background, I'm moving at the moment. You guys want me to speak about the conflict, the current conflict between Palestine and so-called Israel. Listen guys, I find it very hypocritical and to be honest, kind of funny comical that most people out of a sudden become war experts right up until now everybody became an expert when it comes down to the ukraine conflict and now when it comes down to palestine israel they of course know everything you need to know they are very very quick on jumping to conclusions and on taking a side and telling you why israel is the good guy and palestinians are terrorists as always right so this is not what I want to talk about, rather I want to give you an insight into the current state of Christianity. Because for people that don't know, I come from an Orthodox Christian background, I said it a billion times before. And now I look at the so-called Christians in the West, the so-called conservative, traditionalist Christian, such as a Jordan Peterson, of course. And now we see that they are siding with Israel which is hysterical. Honestly, it is so comical, yet again, that a Christian would side with Israel. If you look into the statistics, you will find out that 90% of Zionists are actually not Jewish, but they are Christians, especially American Christians. Roughly 90% of Zionist supporters of Israel are actual Christians, self-proclaimed Christians, that is, of course. If you look into the beginning of Israel, when Palestine was occupied and the illegitimate state of Israel was conducted, it was roughly about the same time that a term was coined. And that term was, and still is, Judeo-Christian values. Judeo-Christian values. We have to stand up for our Jewish brothers. But what is that based upon? Honestly, if you really think about it, again, it is so extremely comical, but saddening at the same time that Christians have been duped, of course. If you look back into the history, when the first Christians began spreading their message, they were persecuted by the Jews and they were seen as apostates by the Jews. Rightfully so. The Jews worshipped one God alone and the Christians started talking about Jesus being God, he being the Messiah, etc, etc, you name it. So in that regard alone, from the early stages of Christianity, there was no shared faith. There was no Judeo-Christian value whatsoever. And now if you look into the modern day and age, what do you see? The Jews have dietary practices, they have dietary laws, they abstain from swine for example and the christians don't the christians eat pork right and then you look into circumcision the jews are circumcised the christians are not we do not share any holidays either so therefore yet again i'm asking which values are we sharing what are those judeo-christian values that you are speaking about and now if we speak about the theology one more time the Trinity is obviously a thorn in the eye of the Jews, but moreover, Jesus certainly is. Because if you look into what the Talmud says about Jesus, you will see that Jesus supposedly, and I really find this hard to pronounce here, I really find this hard to word, however, I'm paraphrasing and quoting, that Jesus Christ is boiling in his own excrement and semen. This is what the Talmud says, and this is the position that Judaism holds. So not only do Jews deny Jesus Christ, no, they're mocking him openly. They hate Jesus Christ. For them, he is an imposter at best, or an absolutely vile, filthy person that deserves to boil in excrement and semen. So yet again, dear Christians, I'm really asking you, what are those shared values? Theologically, you're not sharing any values. Traditionally, you're not sharing any values. What are those values that you American, conservative Americans, are truly sharing with the Jews? The answer is, of course, you do not. And moreover, if you look into those so-called conservative Christians yet again, such as a John Peterson, <laughs> 
which is absolutely hysterical yet again because a Jordan Peterson is not a Christian. A Jordan Peterson cannot tell you if he believes in God or not. If you ask him, he will tell you, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? He has no clue whatsoever what it means to be a believer. And therefore, I personally chose Islam. Of course, I believe that it is the straight path, the purest form of monotheism that we have. But nevertheless, I'm open to consider that we have faithful, pious people within Christianity, Judaism, etc., you name it. But he is not that. John Peterson is not that. He's not a believer, not even in his own faith. He's taking the stories out of the Bible as mythos, as some sort of intellectual little word game that he can entertain and take meaning out of. But he doesn't tell you that he believes in God, because he does not. Nevertheless, he identifies as a Christian. And that brings me back to the whole problem here. If you are a Christian, wouldn't you mind then that your Christian brothers in Palestine are being persecuted, that one of the oldest churches, Orthodox Christian churches, has been bombed by Israel yesterday. Isn't that any of your concern? No, it is not because they're not interested in the truth whatsoever. They're just going to paraphrase, oh, bad, bad Muslims, terrorists. <laughs> Those are your talking points, right? You do not care that there are Christian Palestinians being massacred. You do not care that Christians are ridiculed and spat upon in Israel. You do not care for those things. You're going to side with the Jews. So now again, I'm asking you why that is. I personally have concluded why that is. It is a shared commonality between those two. The Jews and the Christians hate Islam. So therefore, the Christians do not care that there are Christian brothers within Palestine, within Israel. They do not care for that. For them, it is just collateral damage for the greater good, right? For the Judeo-Christian values. Because Islam, as the only purely monotheistic religion that adheres to its own tradition and does not sell out to liberal values, is of course a thorn in the eye to you. You hate Islam. You hate Islam because it is the only religion that purely worships one God alone. And that is powerful, not only psychologically speaking, but spiritually speaking, of course. The Muslims are the only people that still stand up for the worship of one God alone. The Muslims are the only people that take God seriously and want to defend what it means to worship one God alone yet again. The Christians abandoned this from the get-go. They didn't want to follow a law. The Jews, on the other hand, they are following a law. However, the Torah is not in heaven, of course, and therefore it is essentially the Jews that are smarter than God himself. Yes, they're winning arguments, they're winning wrestling matches as well. They're just superior. They're truly the chosen people after all. And the Christians agree with this. Of course you are the chosen people. Of course. We will stand up for you, defend you. Even though Israel is an illegitimate state, it is an occupation of Palestine. You don't have to be a conspiracy theorist. You don't have to be an anti-Semite for this. You just have to look into the history and you will see how Israel came about and how those poor people, those poor Palestinians, have been persecuted ever since. But nobody speaks about that. They do not blink an eye when children, grandmas, old people in general, babies even, are massacred by the Israeli government. That does not matter, right? But when those people stand up and they try to defend themselves, then they get labeled terrorists. But it is always a double standard after all. Those Christians that are calling out now and they're complaining about the atrocities that Hamas has committed, it is exactly those Christians, again, Jordan Peterson, I'm talking to you, that will call out for the violent destruction of innocent Palestinians. Because they build up this image in their minds of the Palestinian being the bad, bad Muslim, yet again, not understanding that on the Palestinian side, you have Christians as well. For thousands and thousands of years, those Christians and Muslims have coexisted, of course. They haven't killed each other after all, but now the modern day Christian sides with the Jews to finally destroy all of those rats, right? Yes, I'm paraphrasing yet again, Jordan Peterson. 
Christians that side with Israel are nothing but the lab dog of the Zionists. That's what you are. You're being used and you're too willing to be used. You love it, apparently, to be used, misused, abused and hated. It's hilarious. Yet again, the Jews hate your God, but you love him still. Yes, master, how can I help? How can I be of assistance? It's absolutely ridiculous, man. If you look at Muslims, you have so much more in common. If you look into the Quran, Jesus is mentioned multiple times. Mother Mary is mentioned as the only woman within the Quran. We believe in all the messengers. No, we do not believe that Jesus is God. We believe that Jesus is the Messiah, that Jesus is one of the mightiest messengers. That's what we believe. We do not believe that he is boiling in excrement. And lastly, just to clarify my stance, as I said in the beginning, I find it kind of funny when people think they're war experts. I'm not a war expert. I'm not a geopolitical expert either. I'm simply giving you my perspective without any deeper insight into it. I just want to say, no, I do not condone when civilians are killed. Duh, obviously. No, I do not find it applaudable when Hamas hunts down a bunch of ravers. No, evil is evil and I call it out when I see it on both sides. However, we have to put things into perspective, of course, and see what the Israeli government has done to innocent Palestinians over the past decades. Right now, all of a sudden, the media points the finger and says, oh, terrorists, terrorists, look what they've done. But just look at the statistics yourself and you will see where the bigger death toll lies. And lastly, obviously, anybody watching, but especially the so-called conservative Christians, I invite you to Islam, of course. However, if you do not accept, fine, it is your loss. Islam will not be in loss, but please support your Palestinian Christian brothers and see who the true enemy is and who is playing both sides. All right, that's this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And guys, if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.